When you're cutting out words with your Cricut machine, have you ever encountered the problem where the middles fall out of your letters and make it really difficult to craft whatever it is that you're making? If so, I'm going to show you how you can solve that problem so you never have to deal with the middles falling out of your letters again. Hello and welcome to Design Space Daily, helping you learn Cricut Design Space in short and snappy video tutorials. Let's take a look at what I mean. So I've got this simple design on my screen. I've got the word happy birthday over a red box and I'm making a handmade card. So I want to cut this happy birthday text out of the rectangle. To do that, I can select both of the layers and press the slice tool. And now if I hide these two, you can see that's cut the words out of my box. So I can now go ahead and click make it and cut this out with my Cricut machine. So here it is all cut out and on my mat. So let's take it off and see what we're left with. You can see that as I've taken this off, all of the middles of my A's and B's and D's and all the other letters have stayed stuck to my mat. So when I put my happy birthday on top of my base card, uh oh, it doesn't look right because you can't read the words very easily. Now I could peel those middles off of my mat and try and stick them onto my card but they're very small and this is going to be really fiddly and if you had loads of different words or if it was even smaller than this it would be pretty much impossible to get that done. Now luckily there is a way to stop this from happening and I'm going to show you two different methods on how to fix it. The first method is to change your font to a stencil font. So I've undone my slice and now I've got the words back here. So I can double click on the words and then go into the font drop down and search for stencil. And this is going to show me all the stencil fonts that I've got on my computer. A stencil font is one that has little gaps in each letter so that the middle bits are connected to everything else. So if I choose this one called Girly Stencil and show you, you can see there's gaps in the letters. So when I cut this out, it's not going to get rid of the middles. They're going to stay connected. If you don't have any stencil fonts on your computer, you can download them from lots of different places online. For example, Defont, The Hungry JPEG and Creative Fabrica. I'll put links to all of those in the description of this video so you can go ahead and find some stencil fonts if you don't have any already on your computer. So let's see how this works. So I'll select both the layers again and press slice. I'm going to hide those first two slice results and then go ahead and cut this out on my Cricut machine and let's see what happens. So here's my design cut out and you can see this time those middles of the letters are still connected because they're all joined to the rest of the card thanks to that stencil font. So my A's, my P's, my B's, they're all looking just right and this is now a lot better than what was there originally. But what if you've got your heart set on using a particular font and that isn't a stencil font? You can actually turn it into a stencil font yourself in Design Space. So whatever font you want to use, you can make sure you cut out your letters so that those middle bits are not going to fall out. So let's take a look at this example. I've chosen a font here and it's not a stencil font. So if I was to just cut this out, it would act like it did in the first example. All these middles are going to stay on my mat and not be connected to my card front. So what I can do to stop that from happening is go into shapes on the left and choose square. I'm going to make this a bright colour so it's easier to see. And then press the padlock icon on the bottom left of the square so that I can resize it to a thin small rectangle. And now I can just rotate this round and I'm pressing shift on my keyboard so that I get it completely vertical and put it in the middle of that A. So if I zoom in a bit more, you can see I've covered that middle of the A with the rectangle. So what this is going to do eventually is um, it's going to become part of the red. So it's going to add that little space between the A so the middle bit won't fall out. You need to do this to every single letter that you've got that has a bit in the middle. So let's go ahead and do it with the P. And you may need to resize your little rectangles each time depending on the letter.
So all you're doing is just creating a line which goes into that bit of the letter that you don't want to stay left on your mat. If you want to, you can rotate the rectangles and line them up with the edge of your letter, which can give you a bit of a neater effect than um, just doing it straight down the middle. But for now, for this tutorial, I'll just do them all straight, just so I can get this done nice and quick. I've got the D here. And then an R. And finally the B. And this one's going to need two because there's two bits of that B in the middle that I don't want to um, stay on my mat. And there we go. So now all of those letters that have got a middle bit have got a line coming out of them. So what we need to do now is select all of those lines by clicking one in the layers panel, pressing control on the keyboard and then going through and selecting all of them. And then down the bottom, press weld. And let's join them all together as one layer. The next thing I'm going to do is slice out these letters. So I'm going to choose the um, happy birthday layer and the rectangle and press slice. I can delete the first two slice results. So here we go. And now if I drag my layer with the little yellow um, rectangles, you can see I've actually managed to move that A before I welded it. That wasn't very clever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna fix that quickly. So because I have welded them, I can't move that one again. So I'm just going to slice it off move it to the middle and then weld them again. Okay, <laughs> that looks a bit neater. All right, um, so now I've got this, I can choose both of these layers. So I've got my little yellow rectangles and the red box and press weld. And that has smushed the um, red box and the yellow rectangles together. So the yellow rectangles have now changed and they're now part of this red. So you can see all of the letters now have a little gap in them, which means when they cut out, the middles are going to stay connected to the red and not be left behind on your mat. But let's just cut it out and give it a try. So here is my happy birthday cut out and you can see that all of the middles are now perfectly connected to the rest of the letters. So I'm not getting that effect where they're all still stuck to my mat, which makes the letters hard to read. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to stop the middles falling out of your letters when you cut them out with your Cricut machine. For more Cricut Design Space tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I release new videos every week. Thank you for watching.